Hey, good people from around the world, Wade McNutt here. Had a question uh, in my email, so I'm going to make a blog for it. Uh, and the question is, I have a melody and I want to I put some chords to it, so what do I do? So you're putting chords to a melody. So let's say you have a melody that, melody that goes la 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 la. La la la, something like that. Na 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 na, na na na. Okay, so let's say you're in the key of C. The first thing that you need to know is what are all your chords in the key of C. Um, so if you just moved up the C scale, all your white notes. then you would create all the chords that are naturally in the key of C. We call those diatonic chords. C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, B diminished, and then back to C. So first of all, you have to know that. Then, as you have a melody, you're writing a song. La da da da. A really good place to start is to try and play a chord that incorporates this melody note. So, na da da da. Well, does our C chord have that in it? No. And actually, whew, that sounds pretty bad. Okay, that's our next chord, our D minor. That does have an F in it. That sounds pretty good. E, E minor. Uh, nope, doesn't sound too good to me. Well, there's our regular F chord. That sounds pretty nice. Our G chord that could be cool, depending on uh, uh, what you want to do. A minor chord doesn't really. Our B uh, diminished does have that note in there, so we'll, we'll just stick with two of these options: the, the D minor or the F. Let's stick with that for now. So let's say you're singing. Ba -da -da -da. If I played the D minor chord, this is the way it would sound. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's pretty nice. Let's see what it sounds maybe with an F chord. Da, 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 da. That sounds pretty nice too. So you have a couple options there. And then we went ba, da, da, down to here. This is our next part. So notice I'm not like... Every time there's a melody note, I'm not changing chords. Da, 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 you know, uh, that's more hymn structure. Hymns change chords all the darn time. Um, so if we go down to D, we play our C chord. There's really not a D in it. Again, hey, here we go. Uh, D minor has a D in it. E minor doesn't. That sounds kind of nice creates an E minor 7 chord. F doesn't have a D in it. G has a D in it. For our G chord, D is the top part of the G. So, let's see what happens. have a couple options here. D minor chord, G chord, maybe even an E minor. Let's see what happens. Uh, da, 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 G chord. That sounds pretty good. Or, da, da, da. Try the E minor. Da, da, da. Hmm. Hmm. So that's that's kind of what you do. That's what I do as a songwriter. Is I, I see my options and I, I kind of play around with them and go, which one do, you know tells the story the best? Which one fits uh, the best for what I'm trying to do here? Da, 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 da. Was our D minor to G that tells a certain kind of story, ba -da -da, ba -da -da. or let's let's take a different option. We'll go F chord to uh, to the E minor. So let's hear how that sounds. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da. You know. Um, 
uh, it feels different. It's telling a different story. So uh, that's just a, a good starting point for you is first know what the chords are in the key and then match them up. See, see what sounds right. Uh, see what chord includes the melody note you're going for. Okay, I hope that helps. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Blessings and peace and love. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.